Hi, Shannon here from No Shelf Control. I wanted to talk to you tonight about what the choices are in this month's Book of the Month Club box. So let's get started. There are always five choices in the Book of the Month Club box, and um, I usually get to pick one, but you can always add on two more. So um, for about $17 a month, I am able to get one book um, from this list. They're always great choices. Um, and then I can add on two additional for $9.99 each. So you're looking at about $40 for three books. They're hardbacks, they're um, really good quality, and they come pretty quickly. So it's usually a great deal. So what are the five books that you can choose from this month? Uh, the first one is Jojo Moy's Someone Else's Shoes. Uh, if I were to talk a little bit about what this book is about, it's uh, an accidental gym bag swap jolts two women whose lives are on the rocks into realizing it's time to seize their fates. Uh, it's about 400 pages, a little bit more. It's from multiple viewpoints, quirky, and deals with marriage issues. A uh, little bit more information about that one is, uh, who are you when you are forced to walk in someone else's shoes? Nisha Cantor lives the globetrotting life of the seriously wealthy until her husband announces a divorce and cuts her off. Nisha is determined to hang on to her glamorous life, but in the meantime, she must scramble to cope. She doesn't even have the shoes she was until a moment ago standing in. So that is Someone Else's Shoes. This is Jojo Moyes. So if you've read Me Before You or any of those books, you know Jojo Moyes. Um, I'm not a huge Jojo Moyes fan, but she does bring me to tears. And I like a book that makes me cry. Um, so something a little bit emotional. Um, so I have read several Jojo Moyes and will certainly consider ordering this one in my box. The next option in the Book of the Month uh, box for February is Georgie All Along by Kate Claiborne. Uh, quick take on this book, a love letter to anyone who struggled to find their way. This is a swoon-worthy reminder to always bet on yourself. Supposedly an emotional book, salacious. Hmm, okay. Buzzy and an underdog story. A little bit more about this one. The synopsis says, longtime personal assistant Georgie Mulcahy has made a career out of putting others before herself. When an unexpected upheaval sends her away from her hectic job in LA and back to her hometown, Georgie must confront an uncomfortable truth. Her own wants and needs have always been a disconcertingly blank page. But then Georgie comes across a forgotten artifact a friend fic diary she wrote as a teenager filled with possibilities she once imagined. So this is Kate Claiborne. Um, she wrote Love Lettering. If you've read that, you'll recognize the name Kate Claiborne. I have not read Love Lettering, but I hear that it is very good. Um, I believe that that book is about a um, invitation designer who hides a secret message in the invitation to a wedding, um, sort of hinting that the wedding is going to fail, and then it does, and what happens after that. So um, I've heard good things about love lettering, so I'm excited about Georgie all along. The next option in the February Book of the Month uh, Club box is The Writing Retreat by Julia Bartz. And this one, as you can see, has a creepier cover, so I'm wondering what this one is gonna be about. The quick take on this one is pro tip, read the fine print before a writer's retreat, lest you end up stuck with a kooky horror writer and your ex-BFF. Apparently this is a psychological thriller, pretty creepy. It's set in a rural environment and it covers sort of the writer's life. A little bit more about this one. It says, Alex has all but given up on her dreams of becoming a published author when she receives a once in a lifetime opportunity. Ex attend an exclusive month long writing retreat at the estate of feminist horror writer, Rosa Vallow. Even the knowledge that Wren, her former best friend and cor current rival is attending doesn't dampen her excitement. But when the attendees arrive, Rosa drops a bombshell. They must all complete an entire novel from scratch during the next month, and the author of the best one will receive a life-changing seven-figure publishing deal. So that's interesting. 
the synopsis wasn't quite as creepy as the cover. So very interested to see what that one's about. Um, the next one is called Mame and it's M-A-A-M-E as you see on the cover. It just happens to tell me how to pronounce it um, phonetically. So that's the only reason I know. But this is Mame by Jessica George. Quick take on this one says, coming of age is hard work, but this heartwarming story of self-discovery has plenty of laughs and wisdom to spare too. This is a sad family drama. Um, it's sort of a millennial feel and it has um, a tone about immigration in it. So interested in that. Uh, the synopsis says, Mame has many meanings in Twi, but in my case, it means woman. It's fair to say that Maddie's life in London is far from rewarding, with a mother who spends most of her time in Ghana, yet still somehow manages to be overbearing. Maddie is the primary caretaker for her father, who suffers from advanced stage Parkinson's. At work, her boss is a nightmare, and Maddie is tired of always being the only Black person in every meeting. When her mom returns from her latest trip to Ghana, Maddie leaps at the chance to get out of the, finally, of the family home and finally start living. Okay, so now I will not be ordering Mame this month because I already have it. I have an e-arc that I received um, from NetGalley, and so I will be reading that one instead of ordering it this month, but that's fine. Um, I still have four others to choose from. And the last book that we have to choose from for this month's Book of the Month box is River Sing Me Home by Eleanor Shear. Quick take on this one. A mother's love knows no bounds in this gripping story of a formerly enslaved woman's search for her stolen children. This is apparently a heavy read, has an international flair, uh, describes a quest, and it's a very literary type of book. Now, the synopsis on this one says, her search begins with an ending. The master of the Providence Plantation in Barbados gathers his slaves and announces the king has decreed an end to slavery. As of the following day, the Emancipation Act of 1834 will come into effect. The cries of joy fall silent when he announces that they are no longer his slaves, they are now his apprentices. No one can leave. They must work for him for another six years. Freedom is just another name for the life they have always lived. So Rachel runs. So I think there are some great options in this month's box. Um, I can't wait to make my choices. I would love to hear from you what you think I should choose. Um, as I said, five options. One of them I already own, so I'm down to four. I would love to hear um, whether you think I should pick one, two, or three, and which uh, three you might uh, think are good choices for me. I'd also love to see you get a Book of the Month box. Um, so I have my link down in the description. Um, feel free to use that and order a Book of the Month box of your own. I will talk to you soon. Thanks. Thank you for watching No Shelf Control with Shannon. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Take it off the shelf and let's get into it.